Right, my friends, we've got a blonde angel back again. Where yeah. have you brought me? Yeah, where, where have you brought me? You brought me to Mansfield. I have, to Mansfield, because this is one of my favourite Indian restaurants, and I was devastated when Lee went and did the other one without me. But this is my favourite one. This is your favourite? My favourite. Mangrove. So the Mangrove in Mansfield. It's at the back of the Swan Car Park, for anybody that knows Mansfield, roughly round about. You can park, you can park outside if there's some spaces and there's a car park nearby. Brilliant. There's lots of car parks there's in Mansfield. Park. In fact, Mansfield is one big <laughs> car park, <laughs> thanks to Mansfield District Council, and that's controversial. Yes. <laughs> so what so are we having then? We're, we're going to have, have everything. Indian. We're going to have loads of things. Just try have a all curry. sorts of different things. This is like my Christmas uh, thing with you. Go, let's go out. Oh, I'm, I'm looking I'm forward food. to it. I haven't had a curry for about a week. I know. <laughs> I haven't had one for months, so this now. will be really nice. Oh, so you're going to have the other. You're going to have the other Indian restaurants oh, after me now, aren't you? Yeah. It's going to be competition. But, but this is my favourite, anyway. Right. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. <laughs> now, before we get run over, over. my friends, let's, let's go. go. Right, you've brought me here to your favourite Indian restaurant, haven't you? Favourite restaurant. Your favourite Indian restaurant. What? Now we're going to tell everybody why that there's nobody in here because I know we're going to go. Well, it can't be open. There's nobody in. It's because we always come a little bit early because yes. the last thing you want to do is be sat there having like a romantic meal and then you've got a mouthy bloke from Mansfield going, ah, in today's vlog, my friends. That's true. Yeah, because I can be a bit noisy you sometimes. You can be a bit noisy. I can be a bit like on, on, so on it. Tone it down a bit. Right, so we'll tone it down a yeah. bit. So we're going to order so, some dishes. We're yeah. going to order some starters. Yeah. Uh, we're going to order um, some main course. We'll take a look at the menu first. Tell us what you'd have in the comments section down below. What dish are you having? I'm having some onion barges and chicken korma. Chicken korma? Yeah, because I like it from here. It's one of my favourites. Uh, well, do you know what I do like? I normally have a tikka masala, but I am going to order something, a couple of dishes that are a little bit different because I know people keep saying, why do you have the same dish? Now, the reason I do have the same dish a lot of the time is because if you go to different Indian restaurants and you have different dishes, it's very difficult to sort of like compare. So I try and have the same dishes, but we will order a different dish as well. Tell us what you'd have anyway in the comment section down below. And while we're waiting, I've got myself here uh, a kingfisher. I did notice though as well they do have cobra. Do they? They have both, yeah. And I do like a bit of a cobra king as well. But uh, anyway, take a closer look at the menu, my friends, and then uh, we'll see what we're going to order.
Right, okay. You, you've got excited here and ordered lots of dishes, haven't you? Have. Yes. Right, so what have we ordered? Because right. I can't remember. Go from the starters, go from right. the top. We're having onion barges. Okay. And you're having a sheep kebab. Or we're going to share anyway. Okay, yep. And then we're going to have a, a chicken pasuari korma. Yeah. A tikka masala. Te had to be done, didn't it? Tikka it masala. Be. And we've ordered a tandoori mix grill. Now, I ordered that one. Reason being is, it's I ordered sizzling. that. It is, but I ordered that also in the last video I did at the, uh, was it Water Lily? So we can compare. Because yes, uh, I didn't actually know we were coming here tonight, so this is why you've got dressed up. And yeah, I was just going to ask. You've not dressed up very well, really. Yeah, I didn't even know. I thought you were taking me to like, I mean, normally we go to Weatherspoons. So, you know, this time, I mean, we were coming out, you choose a place, and it's yep. not spoons. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. We've also ordered a peshwari naan. Yes, um, and some rice. We've ordered a peel of rice and a mushroom rice. Mushroom rice, rice as well. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, I'm looking forward to this. We're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 uh, as well. Um, the sizzling uh, grill platter I'm looking forward to because. Yes, it seems now, what's quite on that? Where, where is um, that? It's here at the bottom. So, this is a generous mixture of tandoori chicken. Sheet kebab, lamb tikka, chicken tikka. Uh, now, can you say that next one? Har Hariali tikka and, yeah, uh, tan like and a tandoori king prawn. Now, the king prawn I'm always a bit dubious about because I don't like foods that uh, just they can't see us. They can't see you for the menu. I was just reading it. I know. I don't like food that looks back at me. You know, you eat a well, prawn and it's like, ooh, I'm looking back at you. You can have my prawn. Uh, it's also served with uh, curry sauce and a plain naan. A complete feast. Wow. Yum, yum, yum. You, we've got to finish all this, you know. Oh, my goodness. We, we are not wasting food. No, we're not so, wasting food. So, anything that we don't eat, you're having for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we'll wait for the starters and then we'll show you what they're like. Oh, we ordered some poppadoms as well. We have, well, yeah. I forgot about those. Do you know in America, because yes. I used to live in America. Oh. Did you, Lee? I did, yeah. I used to live in America. <laughs> Do you know they don't rate the poppadoms that they have there? They don't have the same thing. They're never the same. They're never the same anywhere, are they? No, they're Our not. Our country has them. So they don't even have them in India. No, and so I like... we have them here? And I like the pickle tray. I went to I Birmingham did. and I, you saw it on the video. <laughs> they gave me mint sauce. I'm like, hang on a minute here. Let's just press pause. Where's the mango chutney? Where's all the little onions and stuff? No, they just gave me this mint thing and then gave me a huge bill. <laughs> yeah, I thought, well, Tom Cruise has eaten there. I don't think Tom Cruise has eaten in Mansfield, though, has he? He might do now, he's seen us, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to this, my friends. Right, my friends. Okay, so you've just seen on the B-roll there. B-roll is all the little... Some people are asking me what B-roll is. B-roll is when you fly over and you do all the little sequences <laughs> and stuff. Anyway, technical word. Too technical for me, really. Uh, so we've got the uh, pickle tray here. We've got some onion. Uh, we've got some... Uh, that's yoghurt, isn't it? Yeah, that's what What's I'm that like. there? Um, I think it's like a grated pepper carrot thing, if I remember. Right, right. I'm going to try that. And I'll, the Piesta Resistance Rodney, the mango chutney. Yes. Uh, then we've got the poppadoms here as well. Do you want to take a poppadom first? Yeah. Okay. Now you've got to do the uh, you've got to do the oh, thing. I don't do that. What, what do you mean you don't do it? I, I just like to just chuck it all over the top. You having a laugh? Yeah. You don't do the thing. Comments down below, my friends. Ah, you should do it. You've just got to do this like a Mansfield lad. There we oh. go. That's sorted. Although that's probably broke it into two. <laughs> I'll do mine a bit more elegant. I think I might have done that a bit wrong, but we'll have a go. Anyway, here we go. So we'll put ladies first. Ah, How am I doing? Like, Where's my manners? Yeah, you're going to get told off because you know what you're like. I know. Right, I'm having a bit on there, like that. And I'm, I'm going to turn the tray around though because I'll get told off for making them. You'd have been all right working on Blue Peter, wouldn't you? Yeah. Here's one I made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Just one minute. Right, three hours later. <laughs> She's doing it. One minute. Go on then. Let me carry try on. this one. Because uh, <clears throat> I like this as well. 
You, 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 you're a professional at this, aren't you? Yep, I'll let me there turn it around just one more little bit, look, and then Mango I'll... chutney, it's nice and crispy, by the way. I'll just... Uh... Can't you wait? Are you starving? I am hungry, yeah. I might see what I mean, man? Look, it looks like a pizza, look. I did break it up too many... I broke it up a bit too yeah, much, you actually. Can, you can make yours now. <clears throat> right, mango chutney. Here we go. What's the little bits in it? Little bits. I'm, I'm presuming it's spices or something, is it? There we go. Mm. I'm going to have mine like this because yours is just too messy. That mango chutney, very, very nice. I'm going to try this red. Is this cabbages or something? Mm. I don't know what it is. There we go. Look at that. I was waiting for a kick. No. No? nice absolutely spot on right um we'll eat this come back to you um and then we'll show you the starters so i'll see you guys in a minute Right, my friends, so you have seen the food there on the B-roll. Now, you've ordered an extra uh, onion barge okay. to take back with you, haven't you? I don't know. Crafty. Um, anyway, they'll bag that one up. So, uh, we've got the onion barges there, and then we've got the sheesh she kebab? She she kebab? Yes. Okay, so, first things first, I'm going to try one of your uh, onion barges. Oh, no! Do you know what? They've took the They've pickle took tray. They've took the pickle tray. Oh, well, we normally oh, dip, no. don't we? We normally dip into the mango chutney. Well, you'll have to uh, dip into well, we've got the mint. Well, we've got the mint sauce. Are you going to try one of my... Uh... Just cut me a little bit off. You cut, you cut a little bit off. We already know what it looks like, my friends. I know. Right, I'm just going to have a bit. There you go. It does look a bit odd, doesn't it, these, doesn't it? There you go. <laughs> it's quite nice, though. It does look nice. Show the camera. Show close up mm, to the right camera. Have a bite. There we go. Is it spicy or...? No, it's not. It's really nice. Is it nice? I'm going to pinch one of your onion on. barges there. Okay, nice and crispy on the outer there. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oops. Just look at that. They look really good. Right, shame I, I need my mango chutney back. I, need me, I forgot about that when they took the pickle tray. Right, I'll we'll put a bit of this on anyway. Hey, that's nice. They're lovely, aren't they? They are very nice. Wow. I'm going to eat the Very good. sausage. Right. We'll go in for the um, poodles leftovers. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Spicy? No. Oh, wow. I really like them. You know, because some places are so spicy, I can't eat them. Yeah. That is, it's got, a, nice. it's got a slight, it's got a slight, but a they're, slight they're really lovely. That is very, very nice. So far, I'm impressed. And this is your local Indian restaurant. Wow. I wouldn't say my local, my favourite one. There is quite a few in Mansfield, isn't there? I think as a small town that we are, mm. there is... How many Indian restaurants are there? That's actually got a bit more of a kick coming through now, a little bit. A little bit, a bit hasn't it? A bite. Um, there's quite a few, isn't there? There's yeah. probably about five in the town, man. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if you are going to come to Mansfield, by the way, there is a travel lodge in Mansfield. Yes. Uh, if you want to stay over. And you can walk just around the corner to it. You can, actually, yeah. It's, it's in walking distance. Mm. Um, a lot of people that use the uh, travel lodge in Mansfield only use it for half an hour, so there's always <laughs> lots of rooms. <laughs> And on that bombshell, my friends, we'll see you for the main course. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. No, behave. Mmm, cheers.
Right, my friends. Okay, so you've seen the B-roll there uh, of the mixed grill first. Uh, we've got the uh, chicken tikka masala, the chicken korma. Uh, we've got a peshwari naan, which is here. Uh, and we've also got uh, a plain naan, which is here. You also get some uh, curry sauce, like a little bowl of curry sauce. Ow, that's really hot uh, to uh, pour over this. But I think rather than pouring it over, because we want to actually taste the meats, etc. Before we go into these two, uh, do you want to try one of the meats off of here, a little bit of each? I'm going to let you try the prawn, because I'm always a bit, I'm a bit weary about the prawns, uh, as I said. Because you, you can take the head part off or the tail, haven't you? So, uh, yeah, they're nice. Do you, do you want to grab hold of it and uh, just point it at the camera, go a close up there of the camera, go a little bit closer to the lens there? Nella. Twist it around, have a look at that. There we go. It's a nice juicy one, isn't it? It's, <laughs> Do you know, it's cut a little bit, Lee. Cut a little bit uh, and see how meaty it is, etc. Uh, I'm going to cut a little bit of this meat off of here. Um, I'm not sure what meats we've got here, actually. Um, what is it? We've got the kebab there. Uh, we've got uh, some chicken yeah, have here. A little bit of prawn. Uh, ooh, go on then, cut a little bit off. You have it now. Uh, uh, no, you cut a little bit. I'm a bit dubious about these prawns. I like I like a prawn cocktail like you have at uh, Bernie Steakhouse. Take that one then. Grab that. Where you've got the miniature prawns. Um, there you go. Look at there we go. It's a bit too. It's good. It just needs a bit of ketchup and uh, salad cream mixed together on that. That's nice. That's nice. Mm. That's really really good. Right. I love that bit. I tell you what. I need to find out what these meats are here because that's obviously chicken, isn't it? Right, so, let's have a look at the menu so okay. we can go through it as um, it's on there. Right. So, here we go. Um, tandoori chicken, shish kebab, lang tikka, chicken tikka, that high jumsmut tikka, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that means. Excuse me, what have, we, what have we actually got here? Do you want to tandoori tell us what we've got? Chicken. So, this is lamb tikka. Lamb tikka. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Hariyali tikka. What is that? Is that chicken? Uh, it's a mint chicken, yes. Yeah. Mint, mint chicken, mint yeah. Chicken, yeah. Uh, the tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. This is the lamb tikka. Lamb, right. So, two pieces of lamb. Two pieces of lamb. Two pieces of chicken. Two pieces of, pieces of, of chicken. Tikka. Brilliant. Tikka. Excellent. Well, so, this is mint on, on the yeah, chicken there. Mint so, chicken, yeah. I'm going to try some of this minted chicken there. In fact, I'm going to let you take it off and cut a little piece and then I'll try that. <laughs> Looks very tender there. Wow, it is tender. It is that is very, very tender. It's breaking up off the... off the. Is there a bone in there? No. Nope. Is it? No? Boneless. You right, take so that then. I'll try some of that. I only want a little bit. Uh, just look at that. Look how tender that chicken is. Absolutely fantastic. This is mint, is it? Mm. That's lovely. That. Wow. Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. Try a little bit of the. Uh, this is lamb. Yeah, this is lamb. Right, so I'm going to try a little bit of the lamb cheek here. That one up. Go on then. Yeah, I'm going to try a little bit of the lamb cheek on here. Okay. There we go. Cut that. Just look at that. Look at that. Right. Tell you what. You know what? I'm, I'm wanting to dip it in that curry sauce. Dip it. I'm a bit of a curry sauce fan. We're dipping in the curry sauce there. Look, there we go. Oh. That one good. Let me try that one. That is beautiful. Very, I'm very nice. I'm not having mine dip though. Wow. That is gorgeous. That. Got it. No, it's fine. I've got a curry sauce there. Yogurt sauce with that. That one. I use the yogurt sauce as well. Excellent. So we've got the yogurt sauce there as well. Right. I'll tell you what I'm going to try here. Um, do you want to try some of this chicken here so we can see how tender that chicken is? And then while you're doing that, I'm just going to try a very, I'm going to try a little bit of rice. I'm going to go in for the rice. Uh, that just falls apart. Well, wow, that's mouth. actually falling off the bone there. Do you want to show a close up to the camera there? Um, Look, I'm going to put a little bit of mushroom rice on there. Just try that and see what that's like. Um, and I'm going to try a little bit, just a little, couple of little bits of chicken tikka masala. And I'm going to show you how tender the chicken is on this. Plenty of chicken in there. Here we go. There we go. Pop that on there. A little bit of sauce. Chicken tikka masala. Pop that there. Right. Now, this is my favourite dish. Uh, you've had the chicken korma. Yeah. Where's that? That's over there. That. Yeah, we'll try the korma in a minute. It's going to go for the chicken tikka masala. Chicken is nice and white there. Just look how white that 
that chicken is there. Absolutely fantastic. Now, oh man. It's lovely, is it? Nice and Just soft. try that sauce. I know you, you go for the, you, you're more for the korma. I, I do like this one though, but I do but like the But the tikka masala, masala, the sauce is smooth, creamy. Oops. Um, it's not too weak, it's not too... Now, I did spice it up at the last place. I haven't asked them to spice it up on this one. I've left it as it comes and it is very, very, very smooth. Extremely smooth. The chicken and everything is so moist here and soft, isn't it? It is. It's That lovely. word again, moist. <laughs> but it um, is absolutely none of it gorgeous. None is overpowering. I mean, like I said before, this is one of my favourite places. Can I um, try some of the, um, should we try some of the chicken corn? Mm. Now, I'm going to try a little bit of... Um, no, I'm a little bit naughty because this is one of my favourite dishes. Just let me show you a look again on it. It's got pistachio nuts and things on top. Oh, beautiful. So, I'm now, going to have to have a spoonful. Peshwari naan is my favourite. Now, come on, in the comment section down below. Would you garlic, like a spoonful? Yes, please. Garlic naan or peshwari naan? What's your favourite? What's your favourite? Comment down below. Um, probably that one. Peshwari? Yes. It's my favourite, but you know as a Mansfield lad what you've got to do? I'm do you've got to make yourself a little a pesh. You've got to make a, a naan sandwich. There we go. I'm just going to try this little bit as well. Mmm. Wow. That's gorgeous. Right. Before we took in, do you mind cutting a little bit of that that off, and I'll just try that on the camera. That looks superb. Wow, it's falling off the bone, isn't it? Show that to the camera. Just look at that. Look how hot it is as well. Lovely and hot. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to try that and then we'll see you guys. Sorry, we're sharing cutlery here at the moment. I know, but um, we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. That is really tender. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got like a barbecue taste to it, hasn't it? Very nice. I've got to say, very impressed with the tikka masala. Very creamy. Right. We really, I'm enjoying this. We'll eat this. Come back to you. Mark it out of ten. I want you guys to mark it out of ten as well. On looks and on price, yes. of course. It's all about price these days. That Yorkshire war cry. Have you heard it? Uh. What is it? They don't half cry. Don't can you they? do the can you do the Yorkshire cry? How much? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll eat this, come back to you, and we'll see you guys in a minute. But what a feast. I am too. 
<laughs> right, it's been that quite interesting actually this one. We won't come to the score just yet, but I have yeah. to say I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have, because this is kind of our Christmas it do is, really, isn't, isn't it? it? So uh, I'm going to have a few, uh, can I have a few more beers? You can have a few more beers, yeah. yeah. I can have a few more beers, kind of relax a little bit, mull over the score. We did leave one piece of chicken. One, I mean, come on, one piece of chicken. I Out can't, of I can't. all that, it's just... I can't do any more. Eaten so much. Can you? Can we take the rice home? Yeah. We'll take the rice home. I can have that with my onion bargy. Yeah, take the rice <laughs> home. Get them to box that up, um, and the salad. The salad was nice and fresh. I really enjoyed it. It was. It was. It was. It was. Well, we'll, we'll let me have a few more beers, and then we'll go over it, right, in a minute. So we'll see you guys in a minute. I'm just going to let this settle. Have a few more beers. And then we'll sit down, clear the table, and have a little chat uh, and go through it all. But uh, it was good, it was very, very nice, I have to say. Extremely nice and really thoroughly enjoyed it. So, uh, uh, Merry Christmas. You've got, you've got a beer here. Yeah. Yeah, that's your beer. Which is unusual uh, for me, I'm yeah, really, you, you have that one. Uh, anyway, cheers. Cheers. Uh, and we'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Right, my friends. Okay, so a um, bit of a shock to start with, I have to say. Yeah. Um, shock to the system. Um, I'm going to keep my voice down here. I wasn't going to do this outside. It was a beautiful meal, and I know this is your local uh, Indian restaurant, so I'm going to be uh, conservative here. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the, the here's a copy of the bill. Um, um, uh, is this your treat? Yeah, <laughs> not. <laughs> so, uh, it, 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 it's, bit, it's the beer, isn't it? The beer. It's it, wherever you go, you people have drinks on the on the receipt, don't they? And often in places like this, they charge a lot more for beer and soft drinks than they would do in your local cheap chains of just having you know yeah but 28 pounds 20 for six kingfishers uh, but is. that's working out at four pounds 70 a pint a lot of people if they go to a restaurant will find that they'll probably pay you around about five pounds for a quality pint won't look they? i'm going to be conservative here because this is your yeah. indian restaurant that is a, a large it wedge a to money. pay um and whether you'd have six pints of king, you'd probably go with a sp go with spoons first. <laughs> um, um, if you take that off, um, I mean, the tikka masala is 10.30. Uh, let's get down to what it was like first, all right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to be conservative because this is your local Indian restaurant. Um, I Which I don't was, come that often, bearing right. in mind, for birthdays and things. Right, but you do want to be allowed back in. Yeah. Again. But... Um, well it was it was a lovely meal uh the tikka masala was very smooth very creamy um if i'm comparing it to the other place that i went to it wasn't quite as spicy um it was more um it was mild everything yes. was everything was a lot more milder uh so if you like it more spicy they could probably spice it yeah you have if to you ask them. for it if it's um, spicy. i don't know you could probably answer this in the comment section down below the mixed grill was a lot smaller than what i had before um did i i'm not going to go back and look at the the the, the video but what was it was it a, a large one that I had, or a family size one that I had before it was way 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 bigger um, I mean there was way too much to be honest there was way too much for me back at the other one um, I feel I feel a bit like because they're over there um, I find it I think it's expensive it was very nice but I think it's expensive well I don't think it is it is expensive, expensive isn't it um, yeah and especially in these times I think I think that's a bit extreme, but it was a lovely meal, don't get me wrong. Extremely nice meal, beautiful um, dishes, uh, and very tasty, not quite as spicy though. So I'm going to take the price into account this time because yep. at the moment um, it's easy for me to 
to, to come and review something and then for YouTube and get paid by the views on it. But I'm looking at it from it a is, point yeah, of you view. Look I'm looking at, at a point of view from somebody to come out for an evening, right? And um, yeah, I, I feel a bit because <laughs> you come here. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with N8. But I think it's expensive. Well, don't, and it is expensive. It's the beers that yes. are expensive. Um, I think you know it's Mansfield, isn't it? At the end of the day. So my my view on that lovely meal could be could be a tad more spicy. Uh, but I have to be honest with these reviews. Yeah, and you because food, if I'm food, not, you can ask for it then strong. you lose respect, and yeah. um, I'm not giving it a bad review by any means. It was a lovely, lovely meal, but for me, it was an eight. Well, I'm going to give it a nine. Okay. Because the food is really nice, but then I, I get it. But obviously, the cost of drinks and things on there. So, for people that are families or couples that haven't got much money, that's where it pushes your prices up. I think it, it does. I mean, you know, when people are struggling for. I feel really bad to say this, but when people are struggling at the moment, I've just had my gas and electric <laughs> bill, by the way, it was huge. Um, and that's a, it's a big wedge, you know. Uh, so, it was very nice tasty not quite spicy I, I would add a bit more spice to it but but all in all fantastic loved it but it's, it's just a big wedge so there we go so that's that's it so um it. try it for yourself if you i'll put their details in the description down below um and um it's lovers around is very friendly people um and um i'm gonna take this home and uh, frame it <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell my friends uh service charge not included no, it's not. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell, thanks for watching uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Right, so um, there's an update on Nick. There is. Uh, lots of people have been asking. Been asking definitely. Yeah, lots of people. And for those that haven't been, uh, that have just dropped in and have just watched this yeah. video, by the way, Nick is your son. My son, um, he's had bowel cancer. Um, so if you're new to the channel and you're just seeing he's had um, his large intestine taken away and a stoma bag put on. And he was going to have his operation. He was they cancelled it. And they cancelled it. But he went in actually last week and it was a last minute operation. They said they got him and they've taken the stoma bag off. But we've now seemed to have come to more complications that he's struggling with his small intestine. It's, if he says it feels like it's on fire. He's struggling with the toilet. Um, his tummy looks an absolute mess where obviously they've put the intestine back in. I know it's a long way to go for him to come from there, but everything that he is just massively, massively in pain. Um, he could hardly walk the other day when I seen him. Um, I just don't know where we're going to go from here. We've still been told that the cancer could come back even in the small intestine. So even having all this done, I still don't know how long I'm going to have my son for. So once again, for those of you that has followed this journey all along, you've donated so much money to Nick's GoFunding page. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you have done. You've absolutely touched the family's hearts massively. I get messages all the time on my Instagram page. Lee gets them on his channel, people wanting to donate money all the time. You don't realize how much all that help and support has given my family while Nick has been ill this year. You've done amazing, you Is, really have. So the operation went well. It's gone well as we think, but he's still really ill. He's still not in no fit state for thinking of even returning to work yet. Um, they don't know how well it's gonna have gone. After Christmas, he's gonna be back for, you know, for more checkups and things, but trying to I've seen lots and lots of comments yeah they have from, uh, so there, many so. comments you know there's no words Lee I, some of those comments make me cry they like the messages I get on my private Instagram messages you know they mean so much you send sort of lovely things you know and your own families are going through the same things and different illnesses and that and you it, it is just it's heartbreaking that people are out there sick no support in that for, for people and and you've done that for me and my family thank you getting a bit emotional it right. is. so i think we'll just give him a 
just thank you very much uh, for supporting Ange uh, and her son. Uh, I will pop the details again for the GoFundMe in the, in the yeah, description Yeah, because people are still below. asking me. I'm having yeah. to, people are asking me to send the link and things like that. And I, I, I honestly can't thank you enough. It means so much. It really does. Will you keep us updated? And keep I will keep you updated and everything that's going on. Um, it's, it's, know any more. I will say it's probably easier for them to contact you because there's so many comments yes. coming on all these videos now. Um, but if I put your um, your Instagram, My Instagram in the description and down below, the, the GoFundMe link, and that some of you you obviously struggle to find it. Whereas I'm not brilliant on the computers and things myself, so I understand when you come to me and you're asking for the link and that. But but if they want to contact you and just yeah, talk if they want to you. contact me, message me, which a lot of you are doing. Um, message me about anything and I will reply to you. Excuse me, it is difficult for you to comment it and is. go through all I the do miss comments. a lot of these messages. When they come on the, you know, when we've done something like this and you've put in comments on, because I'm not following it all the time, I don't have time to follow it all the time and I miss things and it's only if Lee picks something up he'll message me and say, can you, I've seen that where you, you know, somebody's messaged you. So please, if you're not on my Instagram page or do, send me a message and I will get back to you. Brilliant. Thanks for watching uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next. Are you going to join me again before Christmas? Yeah, we'll do. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Love to everybody. Bye-bye. Love to everybody. Bye-bye.